In this video, let's talk about the Google Drive interface so you'll know what to expect from the rest of this course. As you can see, I've just started out with a brand new Google Drive and I've got just a few documents in it. Let's start with the top center of the screen. At the very top and center of the screen is the search bar and the search bar is there to help you search for your files stored in Google Drive. All the way to the right hand side of the screen is how to access your main Google information. You can click your avatar icon and from there you can access things like your Google privacy settings and also your main account settings. These will be global across all of your Google Apps for Education products. You can also access every other Google product by clicking the thumbnail grid icon next to your avatar icon. Just below the avatar icon is the main context bar for Google Drive. From here, you can click My Drive to create new folders, upload files and folders, and you can also create a brand new Google Doc, Google Sheet, Google Slides, or new Google Forms. When you select a file, a context menu of actions you can perform on that file will appear in the top right. You can do things such as remove it, share with others, and you can click the three dots to do even more things, such as open the file, move it to a different folder, add a star to make it a favorite, or even to download the file to your computer. Further to the right, you can change the view and how it's displayed. You can alternate between grid view and list view. And you can change the sort order of your files. You can, for example, sort them by the last time they were opened by you. And you can also toggle on details in the details pane. This tells you all the details about a file and any activity related to that file. Clicking the gear icon on the top right hand side of the screen allows you to access Google Drive settings. And all the way over on the bottom left hand side of the screen, you can see how much storage space you've used. Above that is the left navigation bar. This is where you can see files that have been shared with you by others, files you've accessed recently, and also files that you've starred, which we'll go over in a later movie. You can also expand the contents of your Google Drive if you've added any folders. You can also click the red New button to create new Google Docs and also things like folders and files. In the middle of the screen is your main Google Drive area, which contains your actual data. You can see a list or a grid of all your files and folders, and you'll notice that this area will begin to grow as we begin to add more data to Google Drive. You can right-click on any file to open it, preview it, share it, move it around, again, download it to your computer. In the next video, we'll talk about Google Docs and the file types that you can store in Google Drive. In the next video, we'll talk about the file types that you can store in Google Drive.